Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today with 10 wedding guest dress patterns for you. I've picked out perfect fabrics to pair them with and everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I mention in the description below. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness and do jump on and check out the link for our newsletter as well where you can sign up for a weekly dose of inspiration to your inbox. So the patterns I've picked out, I've actually made a few of them and I'm going to show you those. One of them I'm currently wearing now. Um, some of them I've made in fabrics that aren't really for a wedding but you know I just want to show you what it looks like on and then I'll show you a more wedding suitable fabric um, but ultimately obviously you know there's plenty of fabrics to choose from. We've got loads on our site. Do jump on it and check out the links below um, but let's get started with the wedding guest dress pattern roundup. So the first one I chose is the one I'm wearing which is New Look 6696. It's a gorgeous simple dress on the front with bust starts, a waist start, uh, pr princess seams down the front of the skirt and a slit. There's a midi length version, a short version, and it's got a beautiful cutout detail on the back, which is the bit that really sold it to me. Cutouts have been so popular this year. I just thought, what a great trend to wear to a wedding. And I actually wore this to the wedding of one of my very dear friends last year, Vicky. Um, it runs up to a size 18, which is a 40 inch bust, 32 waist and 42 hips. So let me just show you my version. Sadly, we don't have any of this fabric anymore, um, but you can see the slit there comes up to sort of mid thigh. Very simple and plain on the front, but then lots of drama and lovely detail on the back with this cool cutout. And the fabric I thought that would work really well for this dress in lieu of the one that I'm wearing is this gorgeous John Caldor Hermione fabric, um, which has got this beautiful, pretty, pretty floral print and um, in those lovely sort of lilac -y tones which are really on trend for weddings this year. Might need to line that fabric but I did line this dress and it worked out beautifully. Um, so yeah that's my choice for that one. The next pattern I want to share with you is very much the sort of evening formal black tie type of wedding I had in mind for this one and it's Simplicity 8330. It's got the gorgeous high halter neck and cutaway detail princess seams for a great fit on the bodice, very fitted at the waist and then you've got options for different length skirts, you've got options for a fishtail and you've also got options for a cutout on the back as well. It can be made in a wide range of fabrics including crepes, satins, taffeta and I made my version in a scuba fabric which worked really well. Now I wouldn't necessarily wear this to a wedding um, but this is my version, it's sort of just above the knee and the scuba work really well because it's really comfortable so um, I didn't need to put a zip in it or anything, I just pull up, pulled it over my head. Um, it's fastened at the top with two little buttons but I love this dress, I've worn it so much on holiday. Um, so it kind of doubles up for lots of different things as well. You could make the formal version for that wedding but then you can also make a version like this which I've worn loads on holiday um, and the fabric I thought would work really well for the wedding was our duchess satin which comes in a range of beautiful colours but I just thought this emerald green it's a satin back crepe so you can use the shiny side or the matte side and greens have been so popular for weddings in recent years it's such a modern on-trend colour and would sew up beautifully into any of the versions of that dress. The next dress I want to share with you is Simplicity 8875. So this is another one that I've made and the version it's the version I'm wearing which I'll show you in a minute. I wouldn't necessarily wear this for a wedding. If I did, it would be a winter wedding. But um, I just wanted to show you sort of the fit and the shape, but it could be made up in such a wide range of fabrics and prints. Um, there's a short version, there's a version with a really dramatic ruffle pattern panel on the bottom. You've got long sleeve options, short sleeve options. Um, you've got a flutter sleeve option. You've also got an option for a ruffled panel around the neckline and it's just a really pretty dress. When I made this dress it absolutely flew off the shelves because it is just absolutely gorgeous and it runs up to a size 
um, 22, which is a 44 bust, 37 waist and 46 hips. So I made the long sleeve version with the ruffled panel around the bottom. Um, it's also got like a little slit um, where the ruffled panel is. I'll just stand on the chair so you can see um, a bit more detail there. But yeah, it's um, one of my favourite dresses that I've made. I really loved it. I made it in this um, John Caldor fabric, which was a viscose fabric. Um, and I've worn it loads and again it just gives you an idea that you could buy this pattern make a version for a wedding but then you could make other versions that you would wear for lots of other occasions as well and get loads of um, longevity out of it so the fabric I thought would be really nice for this one I think was this Hermione one again um, so I've just shown you this with one of the earlier patterns but I think this would work really well and look pretty sewn up as Simplicity 8875. Another one I made which I think would be great for a wedding, um, a short dress with all the drama in the sleeves is one I'm currently wearing which you know excuse the jazzy pattern again probably wouldn't wear this fabric particularly for a wedding this is the version i made for my 40th birthday which was 70s themed um, but this is a great dress a great pattern i've made the bodice um, i've made the v-neck version i've got on now but i've also made the round neck version before and added a tiered skirt to it i've used it loads of times because the fit was great um, it's a very easy vogue pattern it's vogue 9344 um, and i just think this would be wonderful for a wedding if you wanted a knee length dress instead and you wanted some drama in the sleeves. It runs up to a size 22 which is a 44 bust, 37 waist and 46 hip and as I said there's a crew neck version or this v-neck version, there's little bust starts on the bodice um, and then a very simple sort of gentle a-line skirt but two different versions for dramatic sleeves. One sleeve is very flared all the way down and has got a slit down it which I think would be amazing for a wedding, it'd just be so gorgeous and then the other sleeve is fitted to a bust the elbow and then balloons out into like a almost like a bishop sleeve at the bottom with a deep cuff so really lovely options and versions don't forget all the patterns and fabrics I'm mentioning they're all available on our website the links are going to be below um, so I'll show you my version just so you can see what the fits like I absolutely loved this dress I loved wearing it I added a different sleeve I used a different Vogue pattern for these sleeves because I wanted a dramatic sleeve on this but the sleeves that come with the pattern I think would be great for a wedding and absolutely perfect um, but yeah I just found it to be a really nice make and a really lovely fit and loved wearing it um, to get more of a wedding vibe I thought this John Caldor fabric would be gorgeous um, for either version really it's got these gorgeous flor floral design on uh, the light background and you might need to line this one again but I did line this dress when I made my version so that's easily doable. In fact I used one of our stretch linings which I used for the other dress that I showed you first as well. I'll pop a link to that below if I can remember but we've got a great stretch lining by John Caldor which I've used with woven fabrics and it's been a great way to line them because it just makes it a bit more comfortable a little bit less stiff um, and we do it in like a nude colorway so that um, you know it'll, you can put that under here and I'm sure it would be fine um, so yeah that was the fabric I chose for that one the next dress I wanted to share is the Elodie wrap dress by Closet Core. It just oozes sophistication, flowy romanticism, just absolutely gorgeous. It's a really contemporary take on a wrap dress and I thought the maxi length version would be absolutely perfect for a wedding. Um, so there's multiple skirt and sleeve options um, but if you make it in a nice flowy drapey fabric it'd be full of drama for that that special day. Um, it's got release pleats under the bust and a dolman style sleeve so no setting sleeve so nice and easy to sew there and the skirt's really swishy and voluminous and comes in three lengths and then you can also add patch pockets if you want to but the great thing about this pattern as well is that you know you can make that really dramatic beautiful wedding guest version but then you can make everyday versions as well I think you get a huge amount of wear out of a pattern like the Elodie which I know I would 
And the fabric I chose is this gorgeous Lena crepe fabric with this pretty floral print and it's just got all that beautiful drape and movement and I think it would be perfect for the drama of that maxi skirt. So that's the Elodie. And then the next pattern I wanted to share with you is one of my all time favorite Vogue patterns. And ever since I started sewing, I said I would make this one and I haven't done it yet and I must do it. It's Vogue 9252. I adore it. I adore this pattern. So this is if you want to wear a strappy dress for a wedding. So it's got thin spaghetti straps, a square neckline, a very fitted bodice with princess seams, but this dress is all about the skirt. It's got a beautiful full skirt um, that's got a dipped hem at the back and just full of drama, very, very pretty. Runs up to a size 22, which is a 44 bust, 37 waist and 46 hip and can be made in a wide range of fabrics. But the only thing you have to consider is because of the dipped hem at the back, obviously the wrong side of the fabric is gonna be visible when people are looking at you. So just bear that in mind. Um, but loads of options again to mix and match fabrics with this one. So, so pretty. Don't forget all these patterns and fabrics are available on our website. I've put all the links below. But the fabric I thought that would look beautiful for a wedding, so I never need this dress. Can somebody make it for me, please? I just never have time to do all the sewing I want to do. Um, but this is a lovely satin back crepe. It's a John Caldor. It's the Mystique one, which is lighter weight than the Duchess satin. Um, but it's got enough drape and movement, I think, for that skirt. It would probably be quite sort of voluminous, but you can see it's got that nice sort of fluidity to it. You've got the shiny side, satin, high shine satin side, or you've got the matte with a gentle sheen um, in this lovely sort of raspberry pink colour. Oh, I think that would look absolutely gorgeous. I really wish I had time to make it. The next one I wanted to share with you is if you wanted more of a classic sort of shift dress, like semi-formal sort of um, wedding. I thought Simplicity 8292 ticks that box beautifully. Again, lots of options with this one. Lots of mileage to make something that's more everyday. The view D is very simple and everyday. But then you can add drama with the beautiful full flutter sleeve, um, or you can go for a maxi length and a cut a uh, cold shoulder effect. Different options for different looks, but the one that I think would be perfect for a wedding is the one on the front of the packet which is just this beautiful simple fitted shift dress um, with princess seams on the bodice and continuing down the skirt and then the really full flutter sleeve um, it runs up to size 22 which is a 44 bust 37 waist and 46 hip and I just shamelessly copied the styling on the packet and I think somebody did once buy this fabric from us and make that dress I remember it was a long time ago now and I'm sure I've got a picture on Instagram somewhere but it's this lovely sort of delphinium blue um, it's a crepe by John Caldor so it's beautiful quality it's got lovely drape and movement and would sew it beautifully to recreate that classic look on the front of the pattern packet it. The next one I wanted to share with you has made an appearance in recent vlogs but again because I love it, I love it so much, I need this dress in my wardrobe desperately. I've basically had no time to sew for the last three months because I've been doing a really intensive course but I am chomping at the bit to get started. It's the lowest dress by Tasuti Patterns and it just makes my heart sing. I love it so much. It runs up to a size 16 which is a 42 bust, 37 waist and 46 hip and it's just a lovely sort of if you were going to a wedding that was a little bit more laid back, a little bit more casual, maybe in Italy or yeah just um, maybe sort of like not a church wedding, more of an informal wedding in the UK, I think this would be absolutely perfect but again loads of mileage, loads of opportunities to wear not at weddings every day um, or you know depending on what fabric you make with it you could get lots of different looks but it's just a really simple midi dress. It's got a beautiful crossover at the front, little bust starts, a grown on sleeve so no faffing around with setting sleeves in, 
finish with a cuff for that really modern contemporary look um, and just absolutely beautiful in all honesty and I've shown you this fabric pairing with it before and if I do get around to making it I think this is what I will go for but this is a viscose twill polka dot navy and white spot and I just think it would look adorable in that I really do the movement and drape on this fabric's lovely but it's got a really nice weight to it as well um, and I can just imagine swishing around all day long in that gorgeous lowest dress in that fabric. The next one I want to share is Vogue 1898, which is a beautiful dress again. Lots of drama on this one, um, but I like the way it's got the grown on sleeve again, finished with a cuff. It's got a cute little collar, a deep V at the front, and then this big dramatic sort of tie that hangs down the front, and then more of a full skirt, because I know not everybody likes such a, a fitted design, but that lovely full sort of A-line skirt. Um, flared skirt it looks absolutely beautiful and this runs up to a size 24 which is a 46 bust 39 waist 48 hip um, and this one I would be make it I would make it in this beautiful cotton lawn fabric or if you could get like a nice jacquard or shantung or something like that um, but I thought this pretty sort of dusky pink with the floral design would look really nice sewn up into that vogue pattern and then last but not least, if you are somebody who likes to really make an impact and you want something super contemporary and different to what everyone else is wearing, I thought that the No Me pattern, number 2016, um, is the perfect way to do that. Um, it runs up to a size 26, which is a 48 bust, 41 waist and 50 hip. And um, the option I would go for is view A. It's got a simple um, sort of crew neck bodice, and then it's got a dramatic tiered skirt and dramatic puff sleeves. And I just think she looks so cool on the packet with her sunglasses on. We, I always take my sunglasses to a nice summer wedding. Um, strappy sandals, it just has got real impact. Um, I love the volume in the fabric. And again, you could make this one in one of the satin back crepes, perhaps for a bit more volume and drama. But I also thought it would look really cute made up in this green and white spotty cotton lawn fabric as well and that would be lovely and cool to wear all day at a summer wedding. So as I said at the start of the video, everything I featured today, all available on our website. Check out the links below. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.